Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with MIDI note colors in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here with multiple MIDI items. I've already recorded MIDI information into each of them. And to go to the MIDI editor, we can just select them, double click them, and that opens up the MIDI editor, where we can obviously edit our MIDI. Select our notes, delete them, draw new ones very easily. But if you notice, each one of our notes is a different color. And we can change those colors based on different parameters or variables. For instance, by default, each one of our notes is going to change color based on their velocity or how hard we play our keyboard or drum pads. So this note over here is louder than this note over here. And we can see that by selecting one and adjusting it right here. As we get louder, it goes to dark red. Or if we bring it down, it goes to yellow, light green, to a dark green. And we could also adjust that on the note itself. Just grab right here, see how the cursor changes, and we can readjust the velocity on that note. And we can see the number change right over here. From zero to 127. And that's gonna work for all the notes in our performance but we can readjust what our MIDI note colors display or how they behave. We can go down here and right click, open up our menus, go down to view and color notes by velocity, by channel, which is the MIDI channel, by pitch, by source using a color map, which we'll get back to in a bit, by track and media item. We could also change it right over here from velocity and all the other options. Although down here, there's also another option for voice. But let's switch it to channel. And let's switch it on the MIDI item up here, which already has drums, piano, and synth in the one item. Let's double click it. And we can see multiple parts at the same time. I have a piano. Down here, I have the drums. And up here, the little notes are my synth, but it's hard to tell when it's set to velocity. So if we switch this to channel, the colors are going to change based on the part because each part is on their own MIDI channel. And we can see that easier if we switch it here from all channels to channel one. We can see my drums are now red. On channel two, my piano is green. And channel four, my synth is blue. So that'll make it easier to see if we have multiple channel data on the same track. We just choose it here. So each one of our channels will have a different color. But let's go back to my piano and let's change this to pitch. And now each one of our notes is a different color based on that pitch. So I bring this up. We have different colors for every note we play, which is actually very useful for drums. Let's go to my drum track right here, and let's switch it to pitch. Now each one of my drum notes, my kick, my snare, and my tom, all have a different color so we can see which note or drum is which. But you could also notice that each track can have a different setting. We can keep the drums on pitch, while our piano is set to velocity. Very useful to change it based on what you need. And we could also use source, which is what you're going to use if you create a MIDI drum note map. If we right click down here, go to view, color notes, by source, 
using a color map. So if we create a custom color map, it's going to show up when we choose source down here. And if you want to learn more about a color map, just go to your search engine and type in MIDI color map explained Reaper. And that's going to take you to the Reaper forums where we could see this post. And there's one right down here by White Tie where he explains how to set up a color map. So if you want to dig in deeper, check this out. The next option is track right here. And we'll see the MIDI note colors change to the track colors. So my piano is red, so the notes are red. If I choose my synth, the notes are going to match the track color. Green for my drums, and this track is a brownish color. Right there. But we could also change it based on the item. Let's split my piano right here and here. Let's give this item a different color. Item and take colors. Let's make it a yellow. Now, if we double click it, we could change this to media item, and the colors are going to be yellow because this item is yellow, whereas this one will still be red because that media item is red. Let's undo that. And finally, we could change it to voice. Now, using voice is usually used for notation. So let's go to the notation editor right here. Then we can select the high notes like this, not this one, and this one. And then right click it, go down here to voice, and change the voice for the high notes. Let's change it to high voice. Let's go to the bass notes for here and here and change that to low voice. And everything else will be the default. Select all, and we can see different colors for each of them because we're choosing a color by voice. Where the high voice is green, the default is red, and the low voice is blue. But we're only seeing this in this editor when we select the items. If I click out of it and don't select them, we don't see the colors. Unless we right click down here, go to View, Notation View Options, and turn on Color Node Heads, which is off by default. And if we turn that on, the note heads themselves get the color. Whether we use velocity or any other options we choose, like pitch. But if this option is turned off right here, we only see those colors in the notation editor if they're selected. Select all, like this. But we'll still see those colors in the piano roll editor right here. So if we switch this to voice, the high notes are green, the default notes are red, and the bass notes are blue. And we can also reassign them in this editor. Just select the bass notes, right click, and go down here to notation, and change the voice right here. But that's how we change or adjust the MIDI note colors in our MIDI editors in Reaper. It's very useful to just change them on the fly based on what you're doing. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.